All right, so we decided to do a bit of work on the uh, pneumatic system, and we made a few uh, valve bank manifolds, basically. And the nice thing is, these are anodized aluminum, which means they laser really nicely, so we went and we put labels on there. So we got our auxiliary pressure, uh, tank pressure gauge, um, this is the 235 psi blow-off valve, so if for some reason the compressor doesn't turn off once it hits 200 psi, uh, this will go so that the tank doesn't explode. And then finally we have our pressure shut-off switch. So this will turn off at 200 psi and turn on at 165 psi, which means um, the tank will fill up to 200, and then you can empty the tank a bit, but until it drops under 165, it won't turn on again. And it's really simple to use. You just put it in line with the pump, and then uh, it's just a little, basically, uh, switch inside. So let's install this. So if you remember, I got a whole bunch of pneumatic fittings that were on sale. So basically everything on the EXO now is going to be uh, quick connect. It's going to be awesome for all the accessories. So let's open these up. So the tank, we're going to have two main manifolds. This one's mostly just for control of the tank and uh, the pressure monitor. The other one, we're going to load up with quick connect fittings. And then these will provide power to all the various uh, limbs of the exoskeleton. So let's, let's install these. So I upgraded from using Teflon tape, and now we're actually using um, pipe joint compound. It's just a lot easier to use. Uh, this is the kind that doesn't harden, so it basically stays goopy on there, which means you can remove it again. Alright, so we're going to do a quick pressure test with the system. Alright, so we fixed all the leaks now. And we're reaching our maximum pressure. And at that point, this should trip. go. And now we're sitting at 200 psi. And I don't hear any leaks. Oh, is there in there uh, snug? Action. Alright, so that's the pneumatic power pack for the Call of Duty exoskeleton. And the reason we started working on this is because we're trying to do the legs. And this is actually going to mount to the hip bracket because it's going to be fully supported by the legs. It does probably weighs about 30 pounds or so, so it's a bit much to carry around. 30 pounds? 20 pounds. Anyways, it's going to mount right like that, which is nice because it keeps your center of gravity fairly low and it means you can also still sit down. Next up, we're going to start working on the legs, and hopefully we can do a test pretty soon. <laughs> 